Yeah, it's uh, almost morning here. It's a. Uh, it's nine. Fifty-one. It says on my computer, and it's um, the first day of Shanuka. Anuka. It's different name on it, uh, similar to each other. Shanuka. I, I say Shanuka, and uh, it's the first day. It's December eighteen, twenty twenty-two. And uh, I have said before in uh, in other episodes that uh, I hope it will be like an end uh, because I left Sweden in year 2000 in December 18. And I hope it will be some kind of ending of my uh, long uh, much, uh, sometimes very much uh, suffering to do this walk on my own, be by myself. No one have helped me uh, more than God. And it changed a little because some of you have uh, helped me, support me to come to Jerusalem. And I'm very thankful for that. And uh, but no one had uh, helped me on the whole way until I was going to Jerusalem. It was said, and then I suddenly got much money on my bank account that says it was from Jerusalem, and I could. Uh, uh, buy me the nights for the rooms, uh, a room for one month and could travel and you helped me with the insurance that I needed to have to come into, come to on the airplane in Finland, now in Copenhagen. And um, today uh, I was on my way to to do a, a prayer meeting and I was thinking that maybe it's this that I should do this day to end, end it in some way. So it was a meeting 7 o'clock in the morning and I was thinking that that is okay because uh, that is some hours until we don't they take away the breakfast. The breakfast is until 10 o'clock. So that was three hours to be away from the hotel. And um, I took a man in the, in the hotel, he took me down to a street and uh, said to the taxi to, uh, to stop. And um, I was thinking the whole time, but I didn't say, tell him, say to him, it have uh, saved us uh, much uh, time to call f in the hotel for the taxi and uh, also that he could explain where I should go to this taxi driver, because now we stopped a taxi and he drive me and the whole time I take a taxi uh, they think that I am an American uh, person, tourist, American with lots of money and uh, they drive me wherever they think I should uh, go to. So this man in the taxi, he had no clue where I should go. And I have writing down the address and everything from this person that should make this prayer meeting. And, and it was somewhere at that, uh, that blue, the mosque with the golden roof. Uh, 
very close to the Golden Gate. But the, the Wailing Wall is also in the same area as the Golden Gate. And the, the, this driver, he drove me and let me go out at the Wailing Wall. And I have been in the Wailing Wall the first time I was in Jerusalem. The first time I was in Israel, I was to the Wailing Wall. And it was uh, in the evening and it was lots of tourists in that time. So I, they didn't know how to do it. And uh, I have already in the hotel room uh, make a, a paper note to put it into the wall. So I did. And uh, and then uh, when I had placed the paper to the wall and prayer a little and then I go back and I didn't turn around to I didn't turn around and uh, put my back in front of the wall the real thing is to uh, have the face to the wall and walk backwards uh, in some meters from to uh, of respect for the wall and uh, so I did that and people uh, look at me the first time the tourists they didn't understood what I was doing they didn't even place a paper in the wall and I I know to bring with me a paper to put in the wall and uh, I knew that I should go walk backwards from the wall and not uh, bring my back to the wall and, and uh, I have no no clue of that in myself but it was a spirit with me already the first time as I did that I felt that I should go walk backwards I felt that I should bring the paper in the wall so there was without knowing in that time that my DNA showing me to back to Jesus and Mary and, and those uh, in the Bible uh, and uh, far back from the beginning and uh, someone in heaven told me what to do the first time but I didn't know I was Jewish I thought I was Nordic, Scandinavian, Viking like that but this time I I was there before seven o'clock and as the taxi driver had take me there and not to that place I had shown him I have no no clue how to walk to that place so I was at the Wailing Wall he drove me there because he thought all tourists is going there so I go to the wall again but this time I knew when I place my hands and fingers on the wall I also place my sister my DNA to the wall so I, I was talking to them I don't really pray anymore but I talk to them that I have coming all the way you have helped me to to go away from Sweden Denmark Finland and go into Jerusalem and I am so very sick in my body and, and disabled and could do it on my own I say you have really taken me to Jerusalem and I have taken you to Jerusalem I say to them 
uh, so and then uh, there is lots of taxi at the whaling wall uh, in not in the morning is it not busy but you know the tourists wake up and about lunch time they are there and I took a taxi and uh, he um, he drowned me. I, I have uh, got an um, address from the hotel to show the taxi driver where the hotel is. But still he couldn't find the hotel. They don't, uh, they don't take a, any order from women, the taxi driver. Because most of those taxi drivers is not uh, not Israel, it's Palestine. It's so close to Palestine, uh, so they uh, they work in Jerusalem from Palestine, and they speak Arabic, and they don't take order from a woman, so they uh, find out by themselves. Even if they can speak a little English, they they should make a decision where I should go. So he couldn't find the hotel. And then he had to stop another taxi and ask where the hotel could be. And still he didn't find it. And, and I, I'm, sometimes I'm thinking they drive me around because they want more money from me. And that can also be true, mm -hmm. but also that they don't know. They don't know the streets in Jerusalem. And uh, when one time it was a taxi driver that took me to uh, an uh, American area, a site, and, and he was saying that I didn't know the hotel. I say where I should go and show them, show him, and still he was driving me to the American hotel where it was uh, McDonald's, uh, Pizza Hut, uh, and those American style to eat. And so uh, it's very frustrating, and it and it take much money. They, they tell me what I should pay and I know it's too much money because I have uh, the reference about when I, I go with a taxi from Tel Aviv airport till this hotel and it was uh, 300 shekel to come here. And today I pay 80 she shekel for only a short, uh, short uh, time in a taxi. So they, uh, they take what they think they can take from me. Because I'm rich American woman. And they'd be very surprised when those few that have asked me where I'm coming from. And I say I'm coming from Sweden. And they uh, almost crash into other cars when I say that, because they think I am American. So they think I should say I'm from Texas, I'm from Chicago, I'm from Florida, like that. And I say I'm from Sweden, and I am here on my own. And uh, they see that I am a disabled also, but they don't care that uh, they see I am disabled. They take the money from me. And uh, I saw today in the morning at the, at the wall, Wailing Wall, uh, in the west, west uh, Jerusalem, there was some women that go and beg for money where we were sitting and praying. 
they it's like they have find out that they can maybe get money from there and it's very bad that they do that on that area I don't say anything and I think it's very sad if when people need to beg for money in this very wealthy city and were very much religious people and still they have to ask for money and uh, uh, but uh, they never come to me I don't know why why they didn't come and ask me I think uh, they those that beg for money they saw that I was walking very bad and I couldn't walk in the stairs at the way they wall and I have to go in a different place for disabled people and uh, the taxi driver they never walk out to help here in Jerusalem you have to open the door to the taxi by yourself and walk in there uh, I don't know how who have this kind of no service uh, because in Sweden uh, they never sit uh, in the car and let us open up if we don't do it very quick so they uh, they can't go out and open the door they always open the door here here in Sweden <laughs> but here I say to me he was, was sitting there in his car on the other side of the road at the wailing wall when I should go there uh, into the taxi and he sit there on the other side of the street and it is a big step down to the street so I couldn't walk down down from the sidewalk uh, and down to the wall uh, to the way to the street and he was sitting on the other side and said come here come here and then he 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 saw that I didn't come so he come out on the half way of the street and I still couldn't do it because I needed to hold him there was nothing that I could hold me in to walk down at that step so so after a while he understood that I couldn't walk to the taxi so he helped me to come down and up on the sidewalk so I could sit in his taxi it's very very you should know how hard it is to be disabled and be by myself that no one no one know my situation no one is there for me to help me and uh, no one very tired in my brain because I have been working so much with a brain to could go from the hotel and, and go back to the hotel with taxi and um, and then I have eaten breakfast so it's time for me to rest now maybe sleep one hour after this and then I am going out at lunch time and see if there is any this Hanukkah Shanukkah donuts to buy to see what it is I have never eaten. I have nev never been in Jerusalem in December, so I don't know what if there is different on these donuts or if it's the same I eat last for some days ago. It's only that they it's glaze over them and then a, a cherry a berry up in the top. I will see if there is different from those other. So thank you for listening.
and God bless you. I will see you if it's happened something else. Uh, the the picture for this chapter is me taking a picture at the wedding wall today. God bless you.